I would honestly say don't be an entrepreneur. If you have to ask, if you're cut out for it, if you're wondering if you should give it a chance, if you think that you might fit in that box, you're not sure, I would say don't even try. Don't bother. It's not for you. I think real entrepreneurs are too busy flipping stuff, selling stuff, promoting, marketing, networking, that they don't have time for these identity politics. They don't care. They're not searching for how to succeed as an entrepreneur. They're not looking for that. Instead, do it part-time. That's my advice to you. It's, it's very easy to fail as an entrepreneur. The first way to fail as an entrepreneur is to be adverse to failure, which means to try to avoid it, to say, you know, I, I want to get out of this business without any scars or scratches or dents. And it, it, you're not going to, man. Like a, a true entrepreneur takes the bullets. I, I'm here to tell you that you might not be cut out for it. You know, um, you might just be an artist. You might just be a creative. You might just despise your nine to five and that's completely okay. Entrepreneurship might not be the thing for you. And I think you need to hear that. I think you need that alternative content because if your YouTube algorithm is anything like mine, you're being sold some course, you're being sold a fellowship, you're being sold mentorship or coaching. You're, you're, you're down a funnel and I don't have anything to sell you, but I just want to be your friend and say, this might not be for you. Maybe you just want to create, I don't know, an Etsy shop and sell a few things from time to time that you make with your hands on the side. And I think that's rad. I think that's really cool. And if you end up making $2,000, $10,000 a year off of your hobby, that's sick. Like that's something to be proud of. Perhaps you're, you're just a creative and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's so many creatives who just aren't built for this financial game. You know, maybe you don't need to create an LLC, you know, maybe you don't need to uh, invest in equipment and gear. Maybe you just make stuff on your, on your phone and that scratches the itch. Maybe you don't want to be a YouTuber. Maybe you don't want to be a full-time streamer. Maybe you were just sold that dream a long time ago, or you were convinced because you've consumed so much content that that's who you're supposed to be, but maybe that's not for you. And that's okay too. I've been a filmmaker for 20 years and I can't shake it off. I mean, I've retired more times than I've made movies. Like I, I've, I've quit so many times and I just can't shake it off. I don't know how to quit this. I don't know how to give up. Here I am telling stories. Here I am, you know, manipulating light and shadows and coloring and telling stories. And here I am making stuff. Like I can't help it. This is who I am. I don't have to try. Inhale, exhale. It is what it is. But if you're a triangle trying to fit in a square, if you think you're a businessman, but you've never sold anything in your entire life, this might not be for you. Having said that, you can't make a blanket statement like that without there being an exception. There's always going to be an exception to the rule. And if you are that, mazel tov, good for you. That's fantastic. Let me know in the comments if that's you. But something tells me you're more like me and you should be content with being this indie darling. You should be content with doing the stuff on the side. There's no shame in that. That's rad. Just show up. You know, I've been hearing be prolific instead of being perfect. Be prolific. Make a lot of shit. Quantity enables quality. Make a lot of stuff. Find your voice. Find your template. Find your blueprint. Create your song your way. Play your music your way and replicate that again and again and again and again and again until something clicks and you find your voice and you see your silhouette and you're like, ah, that's my shape. And then continue to do that without any expectation of where that's going to go and what it's going to mean. And if it's going to make you money without any expectation, trade your expectations for appreciation and watch what happens. If you want to fail as an entrepreneur, be afraid of failure. If you want to succeed as an entrepreneur, fail your ass off.